Okay, so this demonstration is to demonstrate a fourth grade concept of multiplication, but of course could be used in fifth or sixth grade or even middle school or high school for students who have trouble with multiplication. So I'm going to first start with a concrete representation, and before I begin the actual problem, I have to define the parts. So I'm going to define a unit part, which is the block that's value is 1. There's a block that's value is 10. And then it's important to also define the block whose value is an array of 10 by 10, which equals 100. Students can verify the value of the 100 block by skip counting 10, 20, 30, so forth, 80, 90, 100. And students in this program have been trained to skip count by 10s from first and second grade. All right, so once you have those defined, I'm not going to do the multiplication problem that is 11 times 12. That is uh, the, <clears throat> the simplest non-trivial two-digit multiplication problem. So let me demonstrate how I want students to be able to build this number. First, we're trying to get students to understand the concept of multiplication as an array. And so over here in my frame, I'm going to build first the number 11. And here you can see that I've combined a 10 plus a 1 to create an 11. And by the way, the 10, counting from 10 up, is a first grade skill that is developed in this program. And over here I'm going to develop or build the 10 plus 2. So now we have on the outside a frame here 11 and 12. And to build an array that is 12 by 11, I will fill in, here is the 10 by 10 port portion of the array, here is a, now this creates 10 by 11 and 10 by 12, so you can see here that I have 10 rows and 12 columns in this array, and to get to my 11th row, I have to add in an extra row here. So now I have 11 rows by 12 columns, but you can see that over here their array is not complete, so I have to complete it with two units. And now what I want to emphasize is I have an 11 row by 12 column array right here, and that array, as you can easily see, has a value of 132. And that's how I'd like students to be able to build 11 by 12. 